So warmly welcome, Mr. Usman, uh, with a very important uh, kind of a session, you know, uh, especially uh, arranged for you, mashallah. So uh, I have <laughs> a very you. unique plan, just uh, since you are the subject thank expert you, for uh, several safety topics. Uh, Usman, would you like to introduce yourself a little bit, you know, about your experience, the, the projects you have been involved and your kind of education background? And how you are supporting industry, you know, especially your friend, the company, wherever you're working. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, sorry for the light disturb. No, it's, okay. it's okay. It's okay. No problem. You can even turn off your video. No problem. Usman, even you yes, can sir. turn off your uh, video. I have no problem. Okay. And <laughs> sir, actually, no, no sir, no issue. Sure. Okay. Uh, as you know, my name is Ismail and I'm working here from as a HSC trainer. Uh, I joined this uh, company in December 2021. Uh, before, this is, uh, we are doing uh, an Aramco project. Uh, basically, we construct a uh, residential compounds for the Aramco workers uh, that are working in a least response station 1 to 10. So there we are making the residential compounds in here. <laughs> so here I'm working as a HSC trainer and uh, also dealing with some documentations just like to maintain the record, lagging indicators, reading indicators and stuff. And uh, before I worked uh, with the uh, uh, doctors and you, that's uh, that's the project, uh, a project of Uni River. We work in Karachi and Dubai as well. And there as well, I work as a trainer. And uh, there, I, my major was focused on the industrial health and safety, just like uh, stress management and uh, safe uh, route of forklift. Uh, you know, many people are working in a warehouse. So then I moved to here in Saudi Arabia. But uh, my professional career started in 2016. <laughs> As my, I'm looking, <laughs> I'm looking so young, but uh, I started my career almost six years ago uh, with an NGO in my local town. Then I'm moving further and further now. Now I'm in here serving as a TC trainer. Brilliant, mashallah. Excellent. So you have great experience you, and credentials, uh, Usman, and I'm sure uh, you deserve to be a trainer, to be very honest. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> because as a Thank trainer, you, uh, we share a lot of scenarios, a lot of experience, you know, the challenges we have been faced as an experienced professional. We try our level best not to teach only practical part. Even we give a lot of practical examples. Like you are, uh, you know, sometimes I say any training without practical is nothing. <laughs> so Yes, sir. <laughs> so, so whatever uh, we, yeah. Okay. Take as example of Flagman. We, if we, I taught him a lot of time in the conference room or training room, it doesn't matter for them. Then I took him to the site and uh, just uh, ask him to show the gestures. Uh, his equipment is coming, where you would stand or where you would go. So, what is the blind spot of this equipment? And that, so that's uh, much uh, worth for him, you know, just uh, learning in the so it's a bit of a personal question, Usman. This the training yes, phase to be a trainer. Is it your kind of uh, dream ever, or you just like uh, accidentally joined sir, uh, this profession as a trainer? No, 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 sir. I'm. Uh, I just started uh, my professional career in education as an educational coordinator in NGO, and uh, I guess in my first six months. I didn't get paid or I didn't want it as, as well because uh, my passion is to taught someone. Okay. And also, uh, I participated in so many speaking competitions and uh, I've been, uh, I've been as work as a, a general secretary of uh, Punjab D Debate Society in uh, oh, Pakistan as much. well. <laughs> so, <Brilliant>. so... <laughs> So since uh, since beginning, I have a passion for this. Uh, to I love to face audience. Actually, doesn't matter where we are and uh, <laughs> what kind of audiences, but uh, I love to face the audience. So 
I think that that passion took me here. <laughs> um yes you are absolutely right and uh, to be very honest uh, uh, since delivered a lot of uh, train the trainer programs and uh, you are the unique one mashallah who contacted me with a Thank different you. perspective <laughs> otherwise Thank you know you normally so they just need a piece of paper like the train the trainer certificate and they believe they are expert yes, at all around and uh, even they are not ready to learn but mashallah the way you have eagerness to learn and the, you know if you have a if you are a passionate learner 90% yes, you know sir. you are in a successful circle mashallah so yes, by yes, the same even yeah. yes sorry, sir, sir. Yeah. go ahead please even in yes even in this company uh, i i i have a separate job description about the uh, as a hsc trainer but uh, i sit in the main office and uh, not just working as a trainer but also doing a uh, uh seeing the whole project as hsc coordinator so <laughs> i'm always uh, keen to learn this and uh, hope so allah give me a chance and i will grow more so usman before we move forward can we just filter yes. out and uh, list up you know what are the key qualities of a trainer not only as a safety or hsc trainer any sort of trainer yes, any sort of uh, subject expert you know with uh, uh, some unique skill set but what are those qualities actually how a trainer should be uh, you know like what are the key qualities of a trainer field can be any you know can be mechanic sir uh, sir i believe that when you when you win the trust of your audience that uh, when you when you be, uh, win the trust of your audience that uh, you will give some knowledge and some potential uh, to uh, they can learn uh, skills or they can uh, enhance uh, your uh, uh, our knowledge from uh, the trainer so when you will uh, win the trust definitely the training going, uh, going so well so i so the first quality focus... is so we have to be trustworthy as a trainer excellent master yes because okay. you you have to build that trust in your audience that you have here for their not uh, just uh, to earn money and the second thing i mainly focus on the audience what kind of my audience is if they are older age and uh, just like uh, 30 plus or between 30 to 40 i will go with their uh, just like feeling that uh, this is not a classroom because uh, <laughs> Uh, they sit in the three hours, two hours uh, training session. After just half an hour, they just like got tired and kind of uh, feeling tired. So, I, I, the first part is I, I just uh, uh, try to feel them that uh, they are not in a, any kind of classroom or training room. Just by joking and uh, some kind of fun, I am adding in my training. So we will go on and go on, and. this is the, the uh, in just in a gist or in a summarize the second point is you have to filter your analyze your audience first so analytical ability must also be there you have to be a yes okay brilliant then much. yes then uh, design or plan your content according to your audience just like if you have to train provide training between foreman or supervisors then you must be prepare the content regarding them as if you going to give the training session to the labor or some workers you have to sort it or just simple just tell the main rules or mainly the things they have to focus on if they have face in daily routine because otherwise if you can going to tell them the rules the stories behind them they will they forget everything Yes, uh, but Usman, what do you think? How do you convince your employees, you know, to to be ready, you know, for learning actually for next two three hours? Because, I mean, do you give some sort of motivational lecture for two or three five minutes at the start, or yes, you sir. just simply? Yes, of course. At the start, uh, uh, they didn't, uh, uh, you know, in our project, they mostly hired the new guys. Uh, it's just like uh, they that are new to Saudi as well. so i just st- uh, take one person from the audience and uh, and put me right stand right beside me and ask the audience you see that guy is standing here 
do you see any kind of defect in this? This is like uh, I, I then I asked to walk him around the training room he walk and then I asked to my audience, have you seen any kind of defect while walking? I <laughs> so they did they nodded. So then I said that that's my purpose here, that you came here just like this. And it doesn't matter you spent three years, four years, five years. My job is to keep you safe. When you want to leave this job, when you want to leave this country, you go like this, okay. like 100% of okay. So the thing is, uh, the guy, this thing kind of build their trust in me that I'm here for them, not for them. And in similar way, other practice I usually do in my training room, just like some fun and some other things, some uh, Usman, practical uh, sessions. Sorry for training room. Usman, sorry for interruption. You know, I, I'm just sharing some practical scenario here. You know, most of the audience sometimes they think we are giving them training because Aramco guys are coming for audit. Sometimes they believe, oh, the third party auditors are coming, maybe some certification bodies. And sometimes they think mm -hmm. might be the top management is uh, on their way to visit the site. So that's why we are giving them, you know, some sort of uh, uh, toolbox meetings or conducting, you know, several training sessions or. So how do you how do you handle and tackle such kind of uh, mindset? You know, because like you mentioned, you know, you uh, made them realize that your safety is your necessity. So I'm here mm -hmm. to support you. I'm a kind of a serving mm -hmm. person to make sure that you are safe on that on the job and even off the job on the site even yes, you know uh, off the site wherever you are you are my responsibility that is why in residential compounds even you are ensuring safety you know so, <laughs> yeah yes sir i will continue with that because you know our safety department hsc department is under the project manager so we not have this kind of separate board of directors. They mainly focus on their project progress, yeah. not the leading or lagging indicators. Uh, I just give them a training schedule, but I request them that, yeah, because when I go to site, uh, uh, site training room for their training according to the schedule, they just give me a, a like a 20 to 50, a, a 20 to a half an hour, so I just request no no I just request them said so that you if you daily give me a half an hour for the tra training uh, why not uh, in I, I will conduct my training two times in a week just but you have to give me time just like one uh, one hour and something extra so that uh, if I if every day I will give them half an hour, it will be not enough for them. If I took uh, uh, almost uh, one hour plus time, uh, so I will I can deliver uh, best knowledge or properly uh, thoroughly can support them. So okay. so I didn't conduct the training session uh, in every day or th uh, three times a week. It's just one time or two times a week, but the session will go long. Excellent. So until today, Usman, how many topics you have delivered? Like, and can you just name few again? You know, the most important. Yes, sir. So, so the the main topic I covered in my most training session is uh, besides induction or orientations. There's the work at height because you know we are building residential uh, compounds and the floors are uh, two three times. I most uh, uh, twenty or 30 meter higher. So the lot of work and uh, work at height work is going on. So we may mainly focus on that is to, to work at height. I divide it into segments, just like fall protection, safe use of uh, ladder uh, uh, and uh, how to use a ladder, uh, how to just to thoroughly inspect the scaffolding, which is like uh, we, you can't rely on the scaffolding type. It, Either it's a green tag, but still uh, risk is there. How you can analyze is just uh, to uh, watching the scenario from your right. side. It's like maybe there are grease in the 
runs of lead so, and maybe uh, there's so it's not any missing. any specific training about hazard recognition and control have you ever delivered a confined space entry or lock out tag out or several such techniques yes sir, recently yes recently we covered the uh, uh, lot of training uh, and especially we covered the isolation part how to perform isolation and you know but there's no too much uh, uh, confined spaces here because just oh, okay. uh, like uh, the we are uh, making some kind of uh, trenches to uh -huh. tie up the so there's no uh, no uh, much hazard regarding the confined space but i delivered the training of confined space entry as well and safety induction is also your responsibility whoever is coming the visitors yes, the you know even the yes. customers yes, sir, yes, sir. or regulatory yes, sir. bodies yes, or government bodies whoever is coming you are the one giving them induction right safety induction Yeah. Yes. Is, so, is it, uh, as is it a, kind of a pre-recorded or you deliver session every time? No, 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 sir. Actually, our project is uh, uh, consist of six sites, and each site is away from uh, basic site is just like uh, uh, 200 kilometer away, uh, maybe 200 miles away. So it is is not possible to move the, uh, every site to, for the training. So just I. We provide the training to site supervisors, site engineers, and uh, I'll give them schedule, give them training material, and ask them to train your team, like uh, whatever your task going to perform. And regarding the safety orientation here in the head office or main office, if any visitor came, I just give the orientation. But in other site, I train the supervisors to guide excellent. them. Excellent, excellent, Mashallah. So, what is your favorite topic? You know, the training topic. You love to speak on that particular topic every time. So, uh, as as I started, it is like uh, when I taught the work at height. I came to know so many things that the most leading hazard of causing death in the construction industry. And Paul is still the number one cause of fatalities. Yes, so I always focus on that topic. Even the uh, people come for uh, orientation after telling that the uh, say job site safety rules, the safety responsibilities, and how to respond to emergency. I quickly go to the work at height part that you have to face like this. This is so. uh i was so my favorite part to speak is also work at height because uh, i think they really need the information regarding that okay so usman thank you very much for your precious time and i'm sure uh, i'll be quite uh, okay with you know some kind of assessment inshallah there is a certain criteria and i will share that yes, one with you inshallah like you know speaker control nervousness i'll give good excellent or whatever you know i'll i'll look into again this video and it will be helping a lot of audience also to learn you know something from you something from me so i'll be yes, publishing sir. on my channel as well but uh, this you, uh, you know the blank uh, kind of a blank sheet i will share with you and the field one with my comments and if you'll be sir. willing to uh, pay little bit amount we can issue you the trainer certificate also on our behalf okay So, but yeah. uh, I will definitely put my marks and everything, and you are good to go, Mashallah. You are an, such a nice Thank guy, experienced man. Just make Thank sure. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, just remember, confidence is everything. Allah's blessings always we need to seek. Every day is a new day. <laughs> The audience is entirely different. And once, like you yes, know, uh, once like in my case, I am quite open to the globe. By the way, through my channel, yeah. so I yes, get sir. different yes, uh, learning points from different audience. and we always welcome to criticism and you know the productive and constructive one and we as a trainer always uh, try to help each other we don't discriminate we are a good <laughs> listener and uh, we believe honesty is not the best policy even this is the only policy so honesty yeah. is the only policy so we have to be honest like if we are uh, somewhere we are confused or any word we are not uh, very much prepared or not having sufficient information we are quite honest to our audience you know i will get back to them again actually with some protective knowledge about this particular word or because it's kind of an ocean you understand mashallah every day yes, we sir. we all are safety learners we every day we are learning you know different scenarios different challenges site change location change people change equipment change 
you know the environment of studies <laughs> change so a lot of uh, management of changes are there so i hope you understand what i am yes, talking yes. about so yes, every sir. day we are learning actually but still i will try to give some rating you know speakers control nervousness speaker displayed confidence the rate of speech was good speaker speed up and slow down volume was adequate speaker raise and lower voice you know control the number of pillars in the presentation i'll i would love to have one video separately on any topic you know you can record by yourself on zoom individually and yes, sir. that video yes, sir. you can share with me for any particular topic even for working at high so i'll give you okay, another sir. assessment one assessment with uh -huh. this session like we have but 20 15 minutes so but later on if you give me a proper one session like working at high so i will come back and give some spend some time and evaluate and then sharing the rating again inshallah and this is how uh -huh. we learn from each other okay. and nobody yes, is sir. perfect and the person so we <laughs> all are right? so yes, uh, yes sir usman uh, one one idea i have for you uh, until today might be you have uh, listened a lot of trainers and a lot of uh, you know people would be like in shape of uh, lecturers actually so yes sir find out and list up what were their key competencies you know yes sir and uh, these list of uh, key competencies then you have to do your sort analysis you know have you ever heard yes, the word sort analysis <laughs> normally we yes, do it for sir. business risk assessment but i'm i'm motivating people to do it for yourself also like swot and alpha me and don't share with anyone even with me also <laughs> you just do it by yourself like your swot and alpha mean your friends okay and w yes, for your weaknesses yes. and uh, opportunities yes, o for opportunities and t for threats and you like filter out all your uh, key four segments and then yes, you come up with the improvement plan inshallah and i'm yes, sure sir. since you are involved every day talking to people having a lot of ppts and you know <laughs> inductions and different mm -hmm. programs so inshallah yes, you'll sir. be rocking usman really nice talking to you mashallah so this you, uh, assessment is very much important you know and uh, uh, yes, this uh, speaker you know demonstrated competency using first aid csc h2s or hr has a recognition or you can yes, send wor working at high i have no problem okay mm -hmm. Okay, so even the variety of gestures, like how much you are wobbling your hands, your I mean, and mm -hmm. your face and your smile and everything, your your body language, in other words, and uh, yes, inshallah, sir. your attire is very much important. You know, especially when you are uh, standing as a trainer, how the attire should be, especially in public sessions or uh, the sessions with your top management or uh, uh, the session with your uh, employees. I call them the foundation managers. you know how <laughs> how your get up should be there and uh, the language is very much important like people can understand punjabi and you are talking english huge gap yes, so, so so make sure you go according to the audience uh, like you there's the thing i them. first yes that's the thing i uh, in the beginning of session i asked them can uh, can you hear me properly and they said yes now you can understand me properly if they said yes then is we find really go with them so i contact is very much them. important is man i contact is very much important and this i contact shouldn't be on one gentleman only it should be involved <laughs> you know every face in one of the yeah, session yeah. you know i don't want to quote the name of the trainer uh, you know he was talking again and again there was a, a female in that session and every time he was talking and speaking his her name only every time <laughs> every time hal you know or, you know sometimes you don't realize which word you are using again and again and then she yes, shouted sir. up and immediately left the session and you know got angry and and she never came back and she made realize to the <laughs> trainer what the hell you are doing with my name why you are calling my name again and again so why don't you talk with others also so there are a lot of yeah. other names like more than 20 participants yeah. so why are you only talking to me i mean You mean, so that means yes, a lot of factors, you know, a lot of factors, and then the mood of the audience sometimes is entirely different. Like if somebody is already angry with uh, his wife, and now his friends of you, <laughs> so <laughs> expect the unexpected. So uh, yes, you know, every time we can't be lucky as a trainer to be very obvious. So uh, don't try to be perfectionist. Okay, accept some yes, some failures every day in every session, some lags. 
and uh, of course mm -hmm. uh, this is the way we improve every day you know? if we, we start of thinking course, oh, yeah. we know everything then we we are not going to learn further so don't stop yes, your sir. learning that's what i really mean and uh, uh, how much you are excited as a trainer is very much important your enthusiasm you know <laughs> how much you are excited like you can observe my yes. passion also i love to teach yes, people. i like to help them and yes, very, you know so uh, yes sir. and since uh, I'm a very practical person also because as an auditor, as a management consultant, we work at every level, and mashallah, you know very well. And uh, yes, sir. you know these things always uh, teach us a lot. Now, uh, yes, of course, uh, recently we launched our training center, Jana Training Center in Saudi Arabia, and I'll yes, be sharing sir. some <laughs> of the information with you once also, inshallah. And I hope uh, yes, somehow we'll be working together. Okay, inshallah, sir. Hope so. So nice of you. So mm -hmm. just wait for my assessment. Maybe we, tonight I'll complete and tomorrow I'll share with you. Okay. No problem, sir. I will may also make a video of my training. I, I, I'm thinking about to short a video uh, while I'm giving the session, or or it is easy for you that uh, I will make a separate video. Yeah, it's, it's all up to you. No problem. You, if you if you if you share a live video, that would be more productive. Otherwise, even I'm okay with Zoom session. You know. Okay, no. Sir. no problem. Inshallah, sir. But consider that you are going to record the best ever video of your life. Inshallah. <laughs> Inshallah, sir. I will try. Okay. okay, my dear. Thank you very much. Really okay. nice talking to you. Okay, yes, sir. Thank, thank you. you thank you. Nice to meet you, sir. Hello. Nice Let's meet. see. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, dear.